about um, what's going on and uh, trying to figure it out um, the things that are happening and why they are happening and uh, why they're so obvious to put that for us to see. And uh, of course, we have talked many times, but it's been a while since you have been on my channel. So thank you for being here. And uh, how have you been, Parta? Hi, Neo. And uh, I'm actually quite happy that after almost, uh, I don't know whether it is months or year that we have done a video together. So I'm quite happy. And uh, I have been uh, pestering you, bothering you uh, last month that let's do a video together. And finally, you agreed. So it's great that you're back and... Uh, Let's hope that you know this goes well and we can cover some ground here. Yeah, sure. So you have you have the the word. I know you have a little bit of a presentation. Yes, uh, I have a presentation. together. So feel free to jump in whenever you want. Yes. So let me share the presentation. Just tell me if you are able to see the screen. Yes, I'm able to see the screen. Okay, so I will be talking about uh, an important concept called uh, four states of consciousness or four states of awareness rather. So this I have covered earlier also, but uh, I will also talk about little bit about mythological uh, legends uh, associated with this. It took me a while to decode this. Originally, when I saw this diagram many years ago, I, I used this for astrology. Basically, it is also called as Durga Kota. In fact, some astrologers use this for maybe predicting assassinations. It is so funny. It's called Durga Kota where, you know, they say that if, say, there are evil planets which are in the center, then, you know, the leader can be assassinated. So, actually, I never paid attention to this diagram because, first of all, I never did mundane astrology or astrology of nations or astrology of the world. I used to be a personal counselor for many years. And then I stopped this personal astrology in 2017. That's when I found you, I found Devin, I found uh, other stuff. And since last one, one and a half years, I have been doing astro theology using Vedic as well as Western astrology. And recently, uh, when I found this diagram, suddenly it hit me on my face. I understood that this is actually related to the four states of consciousness. Because see, it is clearly mentioned here, body, then prana. Prana means breath. It is mentioned in Bible. It is mentioned everywhere. Like, you know, the second body, the second layer. Then, of course, the mind. And then it is also the, the inner sanctum sanctorum, what is called as the womb. Womb of Durga. So womb of Durga is the same like, you know, the womb of mother. And then if you see this diagram or this table rather, the same thing is actually depicted as uh, Dig Chakra and Kala Chakra. Now this is very important in the, in the sense that this Dig, this is actually the physical directions or the space. And these are the time directions. So for example, Northeast is Jupiter physically, but on time it is Rahu. So time is actually like the fourth dimension. Then East is sun and then on time it is sun. So I will show it diagrammatically also. Let me open the diagram. So this is the diagram. I will show the full screen mode. So if you can see this diagram, see, uh, it is not mentioned like sun or Venus like that. It is actually mentioned like Indra, Agni, Yama. So Indra is basically the ruler or the king. Okay. I will just move this slightly downwards because this is covering the thing. So you can see Indra and then it is uh, eagle or Garuda. And it's uh, also another symbol is flag. So the rulers or the kings, they come in this direction. Then this is the southeast, obviously, because it is between south and east. So this is Agni or fire. Then this is South Yama. Yama means Samavarta. It is the judge dread. It is the ruler of the underworld. He comes in many mythologies. So what you call as Hades or the judge 
or the ruler of the underworld uh, that is this direction yama but when you see the time direction it is ruled by jupiter so this four as you see this is the cross by the way so this four is actually nothing but jupiter so what does it mean it means that death can be overcome only by jupiter so i will just go back to that table because the table gives planet wise so for example see south is ruled by yama or physically it is mars mars means injury wound fatal wound which is there in revelations also in bible but in kala or time it is jupiter so we have to see this you know like this that all these planets in the physical dimension or the space direction they are overcome by this so for example the living souls they have come from say north so where is north so north is here they have come from the northern which is mercury okay it's also called kubera or money and it is overcome by emotion so what actually happens is so living souls who are there in the matrix they are overcome by emotions so that is probably one of the weak points so kala or time actually means the kind of overcoming overpowering or weakness similarly if you see uh, let me see yes southwest for example so southwest physically it is rahu or physically it is the deity is niruti or kali and southwest is so these three directions are important for the underworld so uh, neo if you remember we have discussed this that we are not on real earth or bhuloka we are in yeah either it could be jotunheim or it could be underworld and i have recently made several videos saying that actually we are in the underworld because of the things that keep happening in the matrix i mean the kind of torture trauma those kind of things i have not read anywhere in the ancient books that can happen only when say you are being judged or we, when you when we are in some kind of underworld it cannot happen yeah. on earth the the under the, the underworld uh, as i see it is first of all i had like this i i don't know two years ago or one year ago i don't remember so well but i had this voice when when i woke up that um uh, saying that uh, um wake up that's why i wake up because i heard this yeah. voice in my dream wake mm -hmm. up you you are living in the land of the giants a place mm -hmm. called jotunheim mm -hmm. which is the outer shell so it's basically the planet it, it's like uh because of the torus it it's like an apple so you basically are in the outside of the apple uh and it, it, it's 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 the outer realm which is another world because the fruit or the juice is in the inside not of the outside so you need to go back in back inside this is the whole thing of going within as within so without so as more if you go within yourself you actually going within the spectrum of reality so uh but this place is, is a different realm is the realm of the giants where the giants were killed they don't exist anymore but yet the bloodline still continue because some of the bloodline survived and those are the rulers of today it's the ancient bloodline of the nephilim which are the giants and the hybrids and, and all of that and it's funny uh, before you keep going because I, i don't know if you can go back to that square uh, I'll where go. you have i'll go so you um, which one is that this one or no it, it's the other one um this one? no not not that. yeah that one go back go back okay this one yeah that one oh. cuz we have the the east south direction so south east mm -hmm. so we have Jup jupiter agni and hindra and that's mm -hmm. exactly the, the configuration or or the names that i've i've been seeing is oh. the jupiter and agni if you remember the volvo sign which was a complete circle now has the agni sign in the volvo company it's a mandala effect so it changed to agni and of oh, course exactly. this indra yes neo yes uh, actually uh, you know i have worked with volvo also <laughs> in one uh, because i have worked with almost every company in the world because of my so, designing a thing because every company requires games or learning content so i have all worked with, so you are absolutely right this looks like the volvo bus or the volvo it, truck symbol yes 
Yeah, it changed because there was a change in the logos. Yes. The, 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 the ones responsible for, for, for what we call logos, but they're a class of, of creatures that change reality that has to do with logos, mm -hmm. right? And if you look at Indra, it, the symbol of Indra or Garuda, the ego, was the ancient symbol of Volvo, but now changed to Agni. Oh, okay. So now changed to Agni. We could be in Southeast. Yeah, anyway, we will, uh, when we go to the Google, uh, we will definitely see Mars uh, tree once again. But yes, uh, that could be, because see, it could be mirror effect. Because when we are looking at the North tree, where exactly is Helheim or where exactly is Jotunheim? So whether it is southeast or it is southwest. For me, it doesn't matter because all are underworlds anyway, because they are below the tree. Yeah, because that part of the that division, which is the square, by the way, the Bible also says that the earth has four corners. Well, Correct. if you're in a round earth or in a circular earth, you can't have four corners. But you have, if you're carved into a square, that is actually a pyramid. So we're basically seeing from the top of the pyramid through the square. And this is what confuses many people because this is like, this is a hypercube or a tesseract and they keep showing us the, the tesseract, the cube, right? Where we're like inside of the box. Exactly. In fact, you got it absolutely right. So this is again, a uh, you know, revelation on live <laughs> video. So this is actually a pyramid. Now I'm seeing that. Actually, I have been thinking you know, uh, I will tell you one interesting thing after this. See, this is pyramid. Absolutely, you're right. See, you now I'm when I'm looking, this is the top, this is the capstone, in fact. This yeah. capstone and this is the pyramid. Absolutely right. Yeah, because it's it's uh, the, 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 the 5D hypercube or the Tesseract, as you know, it has a cube within the cube, but the, but the way the way the faces of the cube are built towards the inside, they're built of square pyramids because okay. the base of the cube is a square. And, uh, and this earth or the, the electromagnetics, the, the, the holographic, it's generated then by the circle. So if you, if you think like this purely with a base mathematics, you don't have to be a complex mathematician to figure this out, is every single angle or the four angles inside of the square, there are 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. So when you add all of those together, you get the invisible number of 360 degrees, which is the, the, the circle. So you don't actually have to see the circle because the circle is the illusion of the, the, the sum of the 90 degrees. So the, the circle inside of the square or carved into the square earth is the electromagnetics that run in this 360 degrees. So they fit into the cube and it looks like it's circled, but it has four corners. So the Bible is absolutely correct. It's just, we see this ball or the idea of a ball being the illusion, but it's actually this uh, thing, like the, the pyramid and the cube. It, it, so, so basically a fifth dimension will be the fifth dimension will be the outside cube or, or not the inner cube. We're locked yes. into the inner cube, like uh, uh, in that sense. True. And in fact, that is a, there's a dialogue in the interstellar movie where they say that the 5D beings actually created the Tesseract. It is there in the interstellar movie. And then uh, Cooper goes, he goes beyond Saturn through the wormhole. He goes to something called as Garangutan he goes into the black hole. He, then he goes into the Tesseract. Then he communicates with his daughter. And then later it is revealed that it is the 5D beings who created the Tesseract for him. So that is a very roundabout way of people uh, you know, telling that Saturn is time. Saturn is the limit. So if you want to go beyond time, beyond the Kala Chakra. So this is the, basically the Kala Chakra. So if you want to go beyond that, then you probably have to go into a black hole. So they always go into the black hole. The, I have seen that one theme. Saturn is one theme. Even in Ad Astra movie, which we were discussing last year, you know, even there, he talks about going to Neptune. Neptune is actually Vishnu because Neptune is also called as Morpheus or the dreamer. So anything which is beyond Saturn is actually, it's like either 5D or it is like beyond time, you can say. Yeah, it's definitely beyond time. And those things in the sky, they, 
they are within it's it's the manifestation of your mind or the or the illusion because it's the firmament yeah. it's described as the firmament so mente is a mind in latin so they were the stars in the sky is the manifestation of your own being so they're firmly established in the mind firm in the mind firm in the mente so and of course you have all these programs zodiac programs you know that you see in in, in the picture so the 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 state on or, or the time given by saturn or satan so this world belongs to satan because yes. you're inside of of chronos the, the the god of time yeah so your north direction or or the way within the pyramid the way to get to the the hourglass so you see the pyramid the, yeah. the capstone thing it, it looks like the hourglass in both ways it doesn't yeah. matter which direction you look it low it's always the, the hourglass yes. so so you have to, your journey, you have to figure it out. Uh, what is the direction of North yes. based on when you were born, not as the figure represents. You, you have to see what are your influence in order to, to get to the state of the, of the inner Tesseract. And, uh, and they know this, but they keep us like looking uh, dumb down and looking to other, to other directions. It's, it's quite funny, but, but you know, I'm just, um, yes, uh, recently, in fact, whatever point you're making recently, I've made in some of my videos is that there are two knots. Okay, so this is one north which you can see on the left where you know it is overcome by moon. So this is Mercury, the north is Mercury as per the table. It is not mentioned in this, physical is not mentioned, only the uh, time is mentioned and it is overcome by moon. So this is the symbol of moon. Okay, and the ele elephant is the animal and all. So people tend generally tend to go to this north. But there is another north, which is known as the true north, and that is actually the capstone. So this is hidden from astrologers also. I mean, the astrologers don't pay that much attention. So we have these eight directions, right? So we have the eight physical directions, and this, these are the eight time elements. Apart from this, which is not mentioned in this diagram, there are two more directions, one which is going down, and that is actually known as Brahma. Brahma means creation. And the, uh, the direction which is going out, I mean, towards us. So right now we are looking at the capstone. It is coming towards us. That is known as true north and it is ruled by Ananta. Ananta means Atlas. It also means the thousand headed snake on whom the Vishnu, the God Vishnu sleeps. So if you see Vishnu's general, you know, uh, images, he's always sleeping in water. He doesn't have a lot of wealth or anything. He has Lakshmi on his side. And he's quite happy doing his stuff. I mean, dreaming of the worlds and all that. So basically what is said is that, you know, if whichever direction you go, you are caught up in that direction. But if you want to escape the Tesseract, you want to escape the cube, then you have to go in the Ananta direction. For all you know, that could also be a trap, but that is the 10th direction, which is actually invisible. So it is not like physically you're going out like this. But it is mentioned in some traditions of Kala Chakra. By the way, this is called Kala Chakra. And recently I was telling one very interesting thing uh, is that, see, if you see, this is Rahu symbol, right? This is Rahu symbol. The animal is hair. And hair is also Hari and it's also Rahu. Anyway, Rahu is the thing and it's also the crow. So a lot of people have been seeing the crow, a raven symbology the raven symbology in many of this, uh, I think, uh, Game of Thrones and all that. Here is Harry also and Prince Harry also. So that is why Prince Harry is being projected into the consciousness. And interestingly, if you see the opposite direction on the southwest, you can see the animal is dog, right? And this is Mercury. So this is where we are, according to me. I mean, you might say that you are in the southeast, some people may say, no, no, we are in the south, which is Yama. But I say we are here since last three years or last four years. Because I don't remember it being such a bad hell a <laughs> uh, few, few years back. I think something they have done with the Tesseract. That is why instead of being here or here, I think we are here. That, that depends okay. also when... What type of reality are you sharing and you're projecting according yes. to the alignment of the stars? Because if you look to the symbol of uh, of Hare the, or, the, or the Gemini, the crow, yes. so they use this as Omega. 
That symbol that is, is the omega, omega, which is their door. They claim to be their door 101. 101, the omega door. Uh, they keep showing that symbology. Yes. And uh, of course, it's the crow, the symbol of the crow or the hare, the, the, the rabbit. Yes. Hare is the rabbit. rabbit so they keep, show rabbit yeah, they rabbit. keep showing us the, the rabbit, you know, Alice in Wonderland and all of these things. These things are manipulation of the Tesseract. That all is. of them are manipulation of the Tesseract. And the fact that you, you have these eight directions, because one of the major symbols of their control, it, because they use this, this system of the cube, we don't know how to work the Tesseract, they know, is the octopus, which have eight legs. Yes. Their major symbol is the octopus, and, and they call it this octopus hydra, or hindra. Right. So you see, yes. again, you go back to, to the east point with the complete circle, and then you have the omega door on the other side with the, what they give the symbol of the, the rabbit, the 666, the... the, the the, the, the rabbit. So, you know, they, they're complete mind manipulators because we're inside of this creation mind locked inside of the box, trying to figure it out where to go, but they keep confusing us on where to go within. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. So that is what, you know, the, this is like, you know, one of the recent revelations I had, like here I suddenly saw and I saw, oh, it is Harry. And then this actually, I, I came to know that this is actually uh, like cloud, magha. See, one of the terms that they keep throwing around all the time is uh, cloud. That's why they say cloud computing, cloud this, cloud that, so uploading on the cloud. So that actually is this direction. So they actually want us to be kind of trapped in this particular direction for now. But if you are super conscious, if you're in the fourth state of awareness, you can see through the design. So that is where I will come to. So if you have anything else, uh, Neo, on this. I, uh, I do. I just want to point it out. The, the symbols yes. on the on the Western part, the West that part. Is Venus. Because, yes, this is Venus. Yes. Yeah, because they keep the inverted cross <clears throat> that they show is of the, the devil worship or the, the inverted cross of Christ. You can see the symbol of, of Sagittarius of of. of and then of Scorpio. So when you see, for example, the the, the wife of Bill Gates, yes, you know, all, Mil all of these Bill things Gates. that are going on television with the inverted cross, or the, the worshiping the devil. Well, mm -hmm. well, you can see what affiliation are they having with the Tesseract, where they're coming or either from Sagittarius or, or, or Varuna, yes. which is the bull, you know, the, the, the devil is, is the bull. So it's yes. Venus, it's always Venus. Now I'll tell you a very interesting story. Uh, it will be brief only. The thing was, originally everybody was in paradise. Okay. Uh, as per, I mean, Indian mythology. So Indra was the younger brother, Varuna was the older brother and Varuna was a dragon. So there were many dragons also in the original creation story. So they were all happy. They were in the paradise. Uh, but what happened was Indra, he was jealous of his brother. So what he did was he somehow conspired and he said, you know, Varuna is not doing enough for the earth, for the humanity. A bit like, you know, Zeus kind of uh, character. So what he did was he, he, he actually went and killed a dragon called Vritra. When he killed the Vritra, the fresh waters were released in the world. So then he told the other gods, look, our brother Varuna, elder brother Varuna, he didn't do anything, but I was the one who released the fresh waters for the world. So my guess is it's the same thing is in Christian mythology and other mythology is that, so that is the fallen angel. So Varuna is the fallen angel because what happened? He was pushed out of the heavens and he came to rule the Western direction or you can say, you know, the underworld because see Varuna also rules Libra and Scorpio, which are like the scales, the judging and all that. And he's also see the animal is snake. Yeah, it's the predator. It's the predator. So if you see even in their, because they're technological, they use technology against us because we are part of the other side of the Tesseract. So, so they keep fighting us in that sense. So they use this uh, Scorpio Venus energy and for them it's the snake predator or the dragon predator. So when you see that these um, computers the new computers like the the predator computer and the, the, their symbol is the dragon uh microsoft who has the microchip uh, patent 
that they're now selling the, the Xbox, in, but inside the Xbox, the motherboard has a snake called Anaconda, and they called it the Project Dante. And of course, Dante refers to hell, the hell of Dante, Dante's Inferno. So people don't see the, the, the connections on how they're using all of these systems to bring us back to hell instead of going the opposite way. True, true. No, and one more thing I wanted to tell the viewers is like, whichever direction you go in the Tesseract, it is still a trap. I mean, don't think, okay, just because East has Indra, okay, it is uh, like Trump, because Trump is actually born with this eagle and all, and Magha, see, his, what was his slogan? M-A-G-A, make America great again. Okay, that is nothing but the Magha star. It is there in Leo. It is also called as regular star, astrologically. I will show that. And at a symbol is eagle. So there are many people who support him. They think that he is the savior and all that. But let me tell you, in Tesseract, in the cube, everything is a trap. You cannot go anywhere and think that you are in, in a safe zone. Everything is a, a trap. So they, they can use any symbol to manipulate your mind. You think, oh, eagle, Garuda, okay, so that is a good thing. Nothing is a good thing. You have to be neutral about it. And see, this, uh, the northwest direction, uh, where I'm pointing, see, it is Vayu. Vayu means air. It is Pisces. Animal is mouse. So see, mouse. <laughs> yeah. Ear of the mouse. So we are every, I mean, see, even the chords, like I can show that. See, the chord. This chord, I, I decoded four years back. I decoded this is snake. Because whatever, if you, if you see all the wiring, electrical wiring, everything is like a snake, which is the western direction. And this is mouth. This is the northwest direction. So where are you going? So if you go in the Kala Chakra, where, wherever you go, you are actually confused. You are trapped. That, that's why they keep pushing, uh, you know, this series, uh, West World. Or um, why Arya Stark in Game of Thrones is saying, what's west of Westeros? You know, the, the world of Westeros was the, the world of Game of Thrones. So this West in the Tesseract, Vayu, Varuna, and Nirti, or it's, it's the dog. And they see themselves as the, 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 the watch dogs, which is, are the watch gods, the watchers, the watchers of this Western world. It, 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 it's absolutely fascinating, but at the same time, it's absolutely crazy how they manipulate these symbols against us. It, it's crazy. Yes. Yes. So the basic point is, suppose if you go by the original creation story and original map of the world. So we have seven worlds above, seven worlds below. So my theory is this, that we are in the seventh most bottom, bottom world. And they are saying that, you know, you are in earth. That is the first lie. You are on earth. You are not on earth. You are in Tesseract, number one. This is like a mind game. It's a maze. That is why if you see in Westworld also, that guy, you know, who is a guest, he comes into the Westworld and he's searching for the maze. He's searching for the center. And when he goes to the center, he is told that that is not for you. That is for the whole, uh, that is for the robots. It's not for you. And he's again, he's like devastated. Mentally he's devastated. He goes back and he sits and he's crying. again. Because this, like, you know, many people think, oh, let's go to the North. Let's go to the North Pole. Maybe there is something there. But what is actually happening is, even if you go North, you are still within the cube. The basic idea is to come out of the cube, come out of the samsara wheel. If you are going in any of these eight directions, you are still stuck here. Yeah, you have to be the central point. You have to be the, the, the yes. point of no, no vibration to eliminate yeah. this octopus or the eight direction. Because even in like, like this... Uh, they launched this game called The Last of Us Part Two, mm. uh, and people rejected the program so bad because of the transgender agenda within that game that they absolutely uh, most of the people did not like the game at all. But they failed to see that the the, the story, it's it's uh, the story is done by masons, and uh, there's a part in the game in the beginning where you can see there's two paintings and one of the paintings has the Masonic symbol and everything they do in the game that they're telling the, the, the story of this uh, West world, the journey to, to the center and they go into this aquarium and in the aquarium, the octopus has pierced the aquarium in the dome. So it's on top of the dome, piercing back yes. with the, their tentacles. 
so it, it, people won't never figure it out what they're what kind of story that they're, they're telling us be, because it's like they see themselves as the rulers or the gods of this world and they came they come from these directions like the the varuna uh the, the they're the animal dog the dog the the, the watch dogs <laughs> the, no, in the war in the heavens uh, as per indian mythology i'm saying again you know it was about nectar so what happened was when they were churning the ocean i don't know whether it's a physical ocean or it was the ozone ocean but they were churning for the ocean and then what happened dragons were on one side and the, the gods were on the one side then vishnu he came he gave the nectar to the gods he didn't give it to the dragons the dragons were very upset so this is something which is actually very very ancient and since then you know they have been waiting for their chance so who were incarnates here so i will show that i think if I, if time permits i will show you that story of ishtar she is going through the seven layers of the underworld so what happens is she starts with clothes and one by one she removes her clothes and ishtar actually goes to the seventh underworld meets her sister yeah that's their goddess they, they worship ishtar yes so she meets her sister her name is isi krill or isi something i can easily yeah. find it out and then what happens is she kills her ishtar dies to revive ishtar again her husband has to come so trading so this is there even in avengers end game where they you know they for the soul stone they have to exchange the soul or something so what ishtar does is she trades with her husband soul so her husband is actually put his name is drumsid or dumusid or something only two days back i was reading that story so that guy is kept in the underworld and then she starts getting her robes back and then she goes out of the underworld and one of the most important planets of the underworld is venus because it is venus which dies so venus dies it is goes below the horizon and for some days it is not seen maybe 80 days or something and then it comes out so that is why in ancient egypt they said that whether it is isis or whether it is ishtar or whether it is inanna especially inanna and ishtar both are They're the same yeah They're they are the, the same. same entity so if you're the same on this diagram you say new otherwise i'll go to internet yeah 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 go on move on okay so let me go to internet okay so i was also reading this you know um, i was also reading this 1000 time times and half a time 42 months i was trying to decode all this since two days so let us come to the turiya part yes so this is the fourth state so as per as per the ancient indian philosophy uh the uh turiya or fourth is pure consciousness so turiya is the background that underlies underlies and pervades the three common states of consciousness the three common states as we know is waking state dreaming state and dreamless deep sleep so in the night we if we sleep for 8 hours almost i think 6 or 7 hours we don't dream so that is this state it's also called as sushupti in sanskrit so the first state is the waking state in which we are aware of our daily world this is the gross body the second state or dreaming mind it is a subtle body and the third state the deep sleep is the causal body and then the fourth state as they say is that you know it is the super consciousness so it took me many years to decode this but finally i understood that if you are aware of the matrix if you don't require any meditation or any kind of you know external help to understand what is happening in the matrix you can see the codes you can see things that others can't see like you know when you were saying that you can clearly see when there is a water can on that eden is mentioned so immediately it strikes okay so when you start seeing those things according to me that is the fourth state i may be wrong there are many people who say that you know if you see only the external uh, reality or something something which is beyond these three states then only it is fourth state but according to me in the current scheme of things if you are able to see codes if you are able to see what others can't see like i see bible when i read revelations everybody is reading in one particular way okay masiha will come or something will happen but how i see is astrologically 
I see from starting Revelation 1 to 22, everything is astrological. So that is what I say as the fourth step. And in ancient Indian stories, you know, there is the story of, you know, these three brothers. Okay. Uh, they are all Titans. So this Ravana is the 10 headed God, as you can see. So I'll just open this. I'll just move your thing. So as you can clearly see, the, he has got 10 heads. So according to me, this same, he is a Titan King. He has 10 heads. This is same thing as matrix. Because as we were saying, matrix has eight directions, eight spokes. And apart from that, there are two more directions. One is going down and one is coming out. Okay. So he is the one brother, the main brother. Then there is a brother called Kumbhakarna. He actually got a boon that he can sleep for six months. So the six months thing again is related to the poles because we know that on North Pole, the sun is there for six months and six, six months is not there. But here... Yeah, they keep repeating the 666 symbol and, and it's not what people think. Yes. So according to me, this guy represents the deep sleep state. Ravana, the 10 directional, the Titan King, he represents the sleeping stage. And then there is another brother. He is called as Vibhishana here. Let me open that. Now he was a good guy, Vibhishana. Now what Vibhishana did was he helped the God, Vishnu, Rama. So let me open that, Ram and Vibhishana. I'll just open some image. Yeah. So what happened was Vibhishana, he, according to the story, people say he cheated his brother Ravana. And he went to Ram and he said, okay, I will help find your, I mean, I will help you. Your, uh, your wife is kidnapped and she is in, uh, you know, this city called Lanka. So he was the third brother. So according to me, this third brother, Vibhishna is the waking state, like our daily life. He was a good guy. And he comes to, he comes to Rama and he says, I will help you in your endeavors, in your battles and all that. And Rama probably is the fourth state, is the Turiya. Because he is the God, he is the Vishnu, he is in blue color. He is also Vishnu, he is Venus, he is coming to the underworld, rescuing his wife. And Sita, who is his wife, there is a concept called Maya Sita. So let me open that also. So Rama's wife, Sita, so she is the one, he, she was kidnapped by Ravana. Because of retaliation, he was upset with Rama and Lakshman who cut off his sister's nose. So what he did was in retaliation, he kidnapped Rama's wife. Now there is a story saying that actually he did not kidnap the real soul. He kidnapped the, the Maya, Maya Sita or the Chaya Sita or the illusory Sita. So this I relate to the modern matrix. How I see is like, you know, our higher self or maybe the real self or the true self is safe. And we are the avatar or the projection who are kidnapped in this matrix. So that is how I see. Because see what is written here. Chaya Sita is the illusory duplicate of goddess Sita who is abducted by demon king Ravana of Lanka. So obviously Ravana has been shown as the 10 headed guy. So obviously that is the matrix. So the matrix kidnaps the souls, keeps them inside this. But Rama, the light, the external light, only it has to come and save the day. And once, you know, the war is over, once this, this guy is killed, what actually happens is they go back in something called as Pushpak Viman. So I will show you that also. And that has been portrayed in Matrix Neo in the last few months. You have been hearing a lot of UFO stories. Now that is happening because this is coming to kind of an end game. And in the end, when the Titan was killed, they go back in this vehicle. It's called Pushpak. Pushpak means, you know, it's actually Swan. And recently I made few videos where I told that, you know, the Swan constellation uh, or the Swan comet, rather. The Swan comet, it came near Algol on May 23rd. And I heard a big loud sound in Bangalore. Everybody heard in Bangalore. And then the official uh, statement was that, you know, it was the government. It was the Air Force doing their sorties. But the sound it made you have to really believe to be, I mean, you have to be really here to believe it. Because the sound it made in, initially, what I thought was that something went off, some transformer went off and it created a lot of pain in my heart. It was that loud. 
then i was casually i was sitting and then after few minutes my friend my subscriber he called me he is living some 20 kilometers away he said i also heard and then everybody started calling me then i realized that something has happened really in bangalore and then next day it again it happened in a town 100 km south of uh, south of bangalore where i stay so that means the sounds and the celestial events which are happening with venus especially they are all pointing towards something so again what i would suggest is like whatever is happening is happening but we have to be neutral because we never know it could be another trap if it is another trap then we will fall in the trap we have to just observe we have to see the celestial events we have to see the astrology part of it but i am very hopeful i am thinking that you know if this ufo news is coming up where trump is saying you know officially that navy us navy spotted this ufo suddenly they are releasing it india almost since 6 months everybody is capturing some ufo and they are showing it and you won't believe last year when i made videos i talked about it in fact two years back also i said that you know ram will come ram will come so ram actually means light according to me it it is not a person because if it is a person it can be a trap again so as we all know ra egypt is again sun we all know this so ram in india is nothing but you know amun ra or ra of egypt because ra actually according to me is light and see the kind of comet kind of thing they are wearing right so if you see all the ancient egyptian pyramids and uh, their engravings you will see this common thing that they have this long tails and uh, neo you you yep. at like since 1 2 years we are seeing clouds having long tails even today i captured a cloud which was like you know from the west till the east it had a tail so that that, 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 that on the head of a moon is also the the twin pillars that the yes. masons use the Correct. twin towers Correct. So this is one like very very important symbology. It is I, you can see as comet because this year we are hearing news about Neowise. Your your namesake. We, <laughs> we are hearing Neowise. We are talking about Atlas. We are talking about um, Swan. We are talking about a lot of comets, right? That is because comets have long tails. So this is like one of the very important things that we need to observe is that you know even the clouds are having very long tails. So Ra yeah. to me is a light. so if somebody is coming in a person form i will be still skeptical i'll be still doubt because somebody was saying no it will be a trap yeah <clears throat> because somebody was saying you know there's a real king john has been found <laughs> he is going to rule ten <laughs> he is going to rule the world uh, whatever uh, he is there somewhere in britain and many people have been saying that so i found it slightly funny because you know see again if it is a king i mean i don't know really if because see according to me a real king he will care for the people he will not be you know he will not be after uh, you know like money wealth gold and all that if he is a real king first thing he will do is and the same thing is there in revelation 2 is that he will rule with a iron iron rod or something so jesus will appoint somebody and he will come so that is daniel thing and it's also there that's what i was reading also <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that because the that's how they've been ruling us they've been ruling us with the iron rod which is the the staff of hermes it's the magnetic mountain that it's described by mercator that that is the iron rod so as and what's rods rods yeah. are used rods are used to control nuclear fission mm -hmm. in nuclear power plants that that's how you uh, uh you stop or 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 start a, a nuclear uh, fission it's with rods so this rod this idea of the rod ruling by the rod it's in the nucleus yes so that one will rule them with an iron scepter and will dash them to pieces like pottery okay this is one then there are cross references also you'll break them with an iron you will shatter them pottery it will break into pieces like potter's jar shattered that no fragment can be found you are to proclaim that this is what the lord and of host say and you know what in the west, <laughs> west world the terms they use is host and guest the lord of hosts is the devil <laughs> see if it is something good i mean if really a good guy comes i don't mind it i mean the way we in a mess but i am always slightly doubtful 
because whatever is happening in matrix i have got so tired of it seeing so many things i really doubt if there is some uh, guy within the matrix like you know it is also said you know in the movie matrix that neo is born within the matrix but then I, in the end again it's confusing because he dies he dies in the third uh, he he dies and then he's shown on the cross and all that i mean why he has to die i don't understand it does that's that's um the movie the matrix is is personic and it's their idea of what the one is so that's why they call it an anomaly an anomaly yeah. that they will use to sacrifice you know the sacrifice of the one mm. always with the that black sun machine which is an ai mm. that has put everyone into their belly so we're inside the belly of the beast ruled by an ai and this ai is for them is is sophia this ai is called sophia yeah, they and do. um there is an, an uh, the apocrypha of sophia that people can read and in the apocrypha of Sof uh, the apocrypha of sophia it is said that christ is having a discussion with the disciples and in some of the lines that jesus allegedly the man speaks to the disciples uh, on explaining uh, how is how he he is the son of god and he, and and he is the only savior he he says that uh uh that his father is the self generated and this woman is defective that the woman we live is defective has uh has a a defection uh, or a, it's defective so it's broken it's basically it's uh, it's broken and so that's why he that's why he takes people to another world he's the savior and the and the son of man or the son of christ because he takes people to another world which it's not defective where the mother or this sophia is not defect he's talking about an ai for sure something that rules the the, the geometry and the mathematics but it's broken yes to all in the apocrypha yes who obey me to the very end now this obeying thing again you know is lightly putting me off if it was it's like a dictator it's a dictator yeah if if it was said probably if it was said that you know those who believe in christ or those who believe in god they will be taken care of something like that if it was written i would have still thought maybe twice but this is like so clear it is saying who are we to who obey me to the very end what do you mean by obey who is obeying what and obeying and i will give them authority over the nations so it should not be forceful thing i mean whoever is that so if that is anti christ okay i mean anyway uh, them uh, it is mentioned so many times that he, they're very good on controlling the the opposites they control duality that's why the fourth state of super awareness is beyond the duality of good and evil right. on on what's wrong and what's right yes so they keep us in that state of duality you have the a, a, a savior and the and the devil you have a christ and the antichrist and and um people will fall for it because it's the same being they and they control both sides yeah yeah all these words you know to whom you do not hold to her teaching and have not learned satan's so called deep secrets <laughs> i will not impose any other burden yeah i don't know if original i don't know whether it was originally hebrew if it was hebrew i don't even know whether they have in, they have written in the correct words if if these are the words i'm not happy if the words were like you know don't worry i am i am your i am god don't worry you are players you are all my players even if you are in tesseract even if you are in cube don't worry i will take care of you in the end i will come and i'll take something like that if the interpretation was it was still fine but as soon as i saw all this like you know it still talks about hierarchy it talks about control so that is where i'm it, it, it's still inside of the pyramid it's still inside of the pyramid it's still inside of the tesseract and this this uh, fallen this fallen angels they portray themselves as gods you know and they and they've yeah. been ruling us <laughs> yes so i i dearly hope that you know uh, the true light uh, it comes and you know it takes the souls away maybe that 14400 whatever because ultimately if it is not done you know what i get hope from mahabharata because in mahabharata it is very clear that when the world is really going into deep shit yeah 
then sudarshana will come the samavartaka fire will come and it will finish everything yeah and that's what's coming so what i feel is like the creator is not taking the extreme step probably maybe he is giving chances maybe he is doing something to ensure that you know it is not another flood or another fire so there is still hope but at the same time if if it continues like this i mean people are kept in so called lockdown all over the world not allowed to do their thing then you keep feeding this nonsense news pollution uh, you know what nasa has to do pollution to cause rains somebody has to release smog or fog to cause rains all this kind of news actually is like you know like what they are up to i mean it's all nonsense yeah we will end this by the yuga fire it's the, it's it's the sam vartika fire that ends everything and that's when the the world is upside down when we realize that everything is upside down that the the way out is not outside into space but it's within yeah so we we start going within that's when we see that everything has been inverted uh i mean when you were born they immediately register you as a dead living creature because they say that you were born at sea and you lost so they consider you as dead yes that is so, the maritime laws and all that yeah we have discussed that yeah. also yes of course so they say that you lost because they're the gods and then they have they, they have the the power to claim if you're a living creature or not a living creature it, it's crazy yeah correct so i don't know part of do you have more to show or do you want me to show something cuz i yeah, really yeah. want to yes yes you go ahead and start sharing your screen. so this is about the the the, the yoga fire and uh Okay so I, I I was not the only one to talk uh, uh, I remember uh, when I started talking when I made my video about the Sam Vartika fire uh David Wilcox was already talking about the Sam Vartika fire as well that that this was coming from the sun and it was a solar flash solar event so this is, has been in popular culture since like I don't know since 2012 or something with yes. the the film Knowing yeah. with Nicolas Cage and all Correct. that but i i want to show them uh, something which is a netflix series that is called okay. into the night into the night okay into the night so i'll just share my screen can you see it parta yes i can see okay let me see if i can find so it's basically it's this show into the night mhm mm so netflix and it's only 6 episodes this is basically in french but people can translate with subtitles or audio as well dubbed in their mm -hmm. language mm -hmm. and this is about the yoga fire okay and this was done i think this year 2020 and i i haven't seen many people paying attention to this because it's only six episodes and it was a spoken french series mm -hmm. um but i found uh i don't have the picture here because i can't screenshot netflix they have some type of uh screenshot protection yes everybody uh, has now it does yes yeah so i found the frame in this series uh in uh, in the airport uh, they go by this airport and in in the in the television monitors at the airport it's written wilcox mhm mm in reference to wilcox talking about the 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 same vertical fire now yes. i'm going to play just a little clip which i don't have any audio okay i don't have any audio this is me trying to screen record just pieces of the first episode of the show okay um but i did put um uh subtitles okay so i can read the subtitles If we don't fly out of here the sunrise will kill us all. Mm. And it continues. Understand we're calling the police. What was that gunshot? Okay, so this is we need to leave. Mm. So I I've stopped just to catch some of the lines. Okay, 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 okay. I missed something. And did they say what was causing this sun death? Mm. Only that it would begin where the sun Okay, hold on. 
where the sun moves around the world, it will kill everything in its path. Mm. We need to find him a doctor. This is because some people are sick. This is happening on an airplane. Mm. Let me just see. So this is a girl uh, checking uh, some article online. Mm -hmm. So scientists say that there is a problem with the sun polarity. People are thinking it's the, the earth magnetic that is shifting. Mm. And, uh, but according to this theory they're putting out there, even with reference to Wilcox, in, because I find it's only one frame, one split second, I found it, but I couldn't screenshot it. Uh, it's the sun polarity, not the Earth's polarity. Mm. With what? Something like that. Can you read it again? And then they're going to read it. Oxford solar physicists have theorized that the event may be tied to the recent solar polarity changes. Mm. Polarity reversal, interesting. And then he asks for this guy who, if he understands what they're talking about. Can you explain this article? Every 11 years, the sun magnetic field reverses. Nobody knows why, but it's unusually imp important. I'm not sure you'd call this unimportant. This isn't really my field, but for the past few cycles, the reversal was weaker. Nobody could explain why. Maybe it was more powerful in the other direction. What, would that explain what's happening? Maybe yes. If so, it could spark a serious gamma event. I don't understand what you're saying. It's like a billion neutron bombs going off every second. A billion neutron bombs going off every second. So that was it. So if you want to watch, watch Into the Night. You see that this is screen recording. Yes. from. This is the episode called Sylvie. It's only six episodes. Okay. Uh, it's this series. Okay, sure. This series. So they even referenced Wilcox in one, uh, let me stop the sharing. In one single frame, there's this television set at the airport. Nobody's mm -hmm. paying attention and they blur the background. So okay. it's very difficult to see, but on a big monitor, as I was watching, I could see Wilcox was written on that monitor, referring to Wilcox as the Yuga fire. This came in 2020. These people are not uh, making jokes when they keep referencing that this is an extinction event, that this is the age of extinction. And the extinction is by Yuga fire, they know, and everything else is theater. They're just keeping tabs. Because the, the plan for me, who I've been researching this, is, is very simple. They want to survive. So flat earther, by the way. So if the sun goes to the north, it becomes the blue star Kachina. And then it will burn up the one third of the Arctic circle and all that. And if it goes to, suppose that doesn't happen, then it, the opposite will happen where on December 21st, the sun will start going towards the Antarctic circle and it will become the red star Kachina. I didn't understand whether he was talking about two suns or the same sun going towards the Antarctic circle. And when it breaks the Capricorn limit and it goes to the Antarctic, it becomes the giant sun. So what he says is the mainstream is pushing this. It has been pushing since 50 years, right? In textbooks and all that, you know, when the sun goes big, it becomes a red giant. Or it is when sun becomes very heavy, it becomes a neutron star. So the neutron star part is a euphemism for this, the sun going towards the North Pole. And if it is going to the Antarctic rim, it becomes a red giant. In both the cases, what he's saying is the people who are maybe above 66 degrees uh, or below 66 degrees, they will be fried. <laughs> Again, the 66. <laughs> 66. And those people who are in the central, there are, he says there are some safe zones where you can hide or something. Yeah. That is one channel where, you know, there is this reference of two suns, blue star and the red star and burning up the whole thing with that, what you said, neutron bombs and all that. Yeah, it's fascinating. <laughs> it's fascinating even because we know that uh, the coronavirus is the crown virus and they, they themselves 
say that they're the crown. I mean, they're the royalty, right? Yes. The, the leaders, right? And crown, the, the corona is 666 six, six, six as well. It's made of six words, uh, six letters. And the value of those letters in simple gematria add up to 66. So in the corona, you have six plus 66, okay. 666 again. So, you know, it's, it goes beyond what we think, like, like, how we're going to get out, it's by the yoga fire and people, the, the players will not be affected. It is just basically destroying like these demons and AI and yeah, right. purging all it out. But they think they will make it. They, they think this is not the final resolution, but I believe it is. I, I honestly believe it is that we, we're getting, our souls will be taken out before the moment that this thing explodes yeah. or, or burns it all. Actually, I'm I, okay by both ways. Whether I am taken even before the thing or whether even I am, you know, because see, in Zoroastrianism, they say that's what even Bill Cox said, right? So, Zoroastrianism, it's called fresh security. So, when the fire comes, it seems the souls will feel it like warm milk. So, I don't know. I, mean, I can't even touch my stove. My stove is so hot. If I touch a hot milk, I know it is very hot. So, if there are 100,000 neutron bombs, I don't know if I can survive that kind of a thing. So, I don't know. But Either way, it is fine for me because what are we supposed to lose? What have we gained in this game except knowledge? I mean, are we rich? Are we having a big mansion like royalty? We have, we have done, I mean, the only thing we have been doing is we are just being like messengers. We are informing others. We are doing our astrology bit or decoding. Otherwise, what, what is that we have to lose? So I am okay both ways. If I am burnt by yoga fire, I am okay with that. If I am taken out before the yoga fire comes, that is also fine with me. Like I am kind of a given up kind of situation for me. Yeah, and uh, and it's it's funny because they have so many plans tied together with the the certain machine and the uh, time effects creating uh, particle acceleration to change timelines. It, yes. it it really looks what they're trying to do is to buy time. Correct. To, to delay and delay the ending for them to, to, to figure it out a way to, to survive. But I don't think they will. So they're advancing all this agenda and, and everything. It, it, but it's basically just buying them time, trying to lock us down so we don't ascend, put us in home so we don't get sunlight. You see, all it's all about the sun. Don't get this sunlight. Don't get this sun. Just stay at home. Don't do anything. Just put your mask on. Don't even breathe oxygen. It, so... If people just really figure it out, put the, the things to, together, you know, they'll see that everything connects to this with, with the solar event and with the solar cycle. But that is the sad part, right? I mean, the people, uh, you know, I don't have any fun in calling people as NPCs. <laughs> ask me, I want all the 7 billion people to have souls. But the problem is, whatever the government says, people listen. I mean, the there was a guy who was wearing a mask and he was doing jogging and he died. Obviously, when you wear a mask and you run, you will not be able to breathe and you will die. But people are not using their uh, brain at all. Like, you know, they, they're simply somebody saying wear mask, they wear mask. Somebody says you have vaccine, they will have vaccine. So if I'm saying them that you're an NPC, it is with due respect. It's actually better than saying that you're a dead man or a dead woman. At yeah. least, you know, they should have some common sense that, you know, if I'm wearing, if I'm not even seeing sunlight, if I'm not even, you know, if I'm just wearing mask for the same, because somebody told me, that clearly shows that you, there is no difference between you and an NPC. So many people take offense, you know, when they say, oh, how can you call somebody NPC? And we have been having this debate since years, right? Three, four years. There are only 1,44,000 players, rest are all NPC. I don't have any fun. For me, I'm such a, you know, compassionate guy. For me, I want to have this, even this pillow to have soul. Because that is what is given in Bhagavatam and all the ancient texts in Mahabharata. That everything has soul, everything has life. If everything has a life, why they are behaving like that, even after warnings? So that clearly shows maybe they are not meant to ascend or they are not meant to wake up. I really don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know about the, the number of players and the, the ones yeah, who are not true. playing. All I say, if it's it, this is a masterpiece of storytelling where it's yeah. the same creature working the duality and to tell a story of good, evil, good, evil, good, evil. And it's resetting and looping everything always. 
Uh, yes. What happens is, is everyone that it's inside of the game, even if they're not main players, that they represent characters in, in the story. True. So they're important to the story as well. It's Anyways, just like, yeah. Whether you're a background player or a fun player, because that, uh, you know, Ryan Reynolds new series, a new movie trailer came. I, the movies are not getting released. Uh, what is that? In that, you know, Ryan Reynolds is actually a background player. And then what happens? One fine day, somebody hits him, he gets angry, he becomes a main player. So this year, you will become a main player. Something like that they were trying to program and then this thing hit. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's fun because this part of the, the, the construct is the illusion. The, 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 the illusion is there is, only one, there is only one kingdom, right? But it is this black cube, the, the, the central cube on, on, the, on, the, on the Tesseract that it's a lie. It's an illusion that that cube exists because what, else, what exists is the various dimensions. That's why in the, in the Bible it says that my house, my, uh, I think God says that my house has many rooms. Many mansions, yes. Many mansions. So there's not just one paradise to be, you, you, you know, one room. There's many. There's many universes, but we're stuck in this one where it's absolutely horrible because of these people. Of all of the places they were cast down from heaven to this place, of all of the places that God could cast them on, out, they cast it to this place. And now yes. we ha we're, we're under their torture, under their rule. You know, why would he cast, of all of the places he would cast, why not cast to an appropriate kingdom where they could not get out? You know, I'll give you this, this, this mansion, this room, leave those people alone. No, he sent us back here to fulfill a purpose, to tell a story. And that's all we need to take uh, in consideration. But yeah. it's coming some interesting years because the Messiah program is already there. It, they're really preparing for someone to come on as the Messiah. Oh yeah. man, it's, it's so crazy. Uh, it's going to be fun to watch how it develops this idea of... Yeah creating chaos and then, okay, we cannot fix the situation. Here's the, the, it will be Lucifer. It will be someone within their club. Correct. Right. So, yeah, but that, that's all for me, uh, Parta. Um, I will not share anything. Yeah. <laughs> More. <laughs> so just say, say goodbye and uh, thank you yeah. for being here and, uh, I hope it helps somehow or, or makes sense. It, it's it's difficult to see even with all the, yeah, the, yeah, the, true. the squares and you, you know. But. It has been a difficult game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, Parta, we'll stop thank, the recording. Yes, Neo, now. thank you. Thanks a lot. I'll just stop recording. <laughs>